If you're into planes and would like a career in aviation, a discovery flight is your first step. Watch now a short video of my flight. The first 30 minutes we went through ground training, where pre-flight actions are discussed to mitigate risk and those included verifying the required documentation, the trainer and trainee state of health, the current weather, airport environments and runways, any external pressures, and state of the plane. want to try to alleviate or mitigate risk as much as possible. Correct. And that's ultimately the purpose of the pre-flight um, procedure that we're going through. This is our airplane, 75754. That's a beauty. A 1978 Cessna Skyhawk 100N model prefix N75754 was a lot of fun to pilot and ride. As we go to the inspection, we check the fuel, the oil, the connection of the controls to the aileron, rudders, stabilator, wheels and brakes, and everything else from the outside. So I'll go ahead and do the B4 starting engine checklist. So pre-flight inspection has been complete. Weight balance documents, performance are complete and check. Passenger briefing. So the way the doors work. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. Seat belts and harness seats are secured. Make sure that you rock back and forth on your seat to make sure it's locked. You don't want it to shift on you while we're on the takeoff. Okay. Circuit breakers are all in, all switches are off. Making sure that we have our alternate static source flaps or fuel slip set for both trims up for takeoff. Before starting engine checklist is complete, engine start. This is a warm engine. They started it earlier. Make sure it's coming in full wrench. Throttle's a quarter inch. Open, brakes are held, clear left, straight, and right. Are you ready to start the engine? Yes. Alrighty. Here we go. Clear left, straight, and right. Clear, prep! After testing the brakes, we headed to Bravo Gulf and in India to the run-up area. There, we finished the checklist and then went to the runway 26 to take off. I was the pilot in command and it was a lot of fun to have the controls. Alright, so you ready to do a takeoff with me? Uh, maybe. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll walk you through it as we okay. um, roll onto the runway. So, I'm going to let Tyler know we're holding short, 118.45. And you can say, I'm going to start with 206. As we get on the runway, I'm going to say, you have flight controls, and you say, I have flight controls, and I'm going to say, you have flight controls. You're then going to put your feet on the rudders, and we're only going to steer with the rudders, we're not going to use the brakes. Uh -huh. That means you're going to put your feet on the lower portion of the rudder pedals. Only pushing on the lower portion of the rudder pedals. If at any point, when you add that power, and let's say the airplane goes out of control, I say, I have the flight controls, okay? Okay. I will not let it get out of control. Don't worry, I'll be right there with you on the flight controls. Gotcha. We're going to begin to rotate about 55 knots. Start our climb out at around 60, 65 initially, and then we want to climb out at an airspeed of 73 knots. So this airspeed indicator wants to be right about that white mark right there. Okay. And I'll be right there with you on the flight controls. Gotcha. This is the fun part. We could have watched other airplanes do landings. Yep. If at any point 
I say I have the flight controls. You have the flight controls out to me, okay? Yep. Right turn approved, right turn approved, take off, runway 26, go ahead 75754. Alright, as we're adding on, I'm right now the brakes, I'm only steering with the right pedal. Runway 26 on the plane, runway 26 on the sign. Clearing our final, making sure there's no traffic that's unannounced on the final. We see the winds right now, so the wind sock is kind of hanging there. Mm -hmm. That means the winds are calm right now. Yeah. This is good. But that doesn't mean that they won't be once we take off. We're attaching out here under the runway. I kind of slowly bring it on down. This guy's not only me a Lima. 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 We are on the center line for runway 26. You have the flight controls. I have the flight controls. You have the flight controls. So go ahead and put your toes on the brakes for a second to hold the brakes. And add some power until it gets up to 17,000 RPMs. Push power in. Very good. Add one more. One more. One more. Temperature pressures are good in the green, and we'll let off the brakes. You're going to need a little bit of right rudder. Put your hand on the yoke, and your other hand on the throttle. Your left hand on the throttle. Now push in full power, all the way in. Push it all the way in, all the way in, all the way in. There we go. All right, maintain that center all the way in rudder. Greater speed is the line. A little bit more alley rudder there. Maintain that center all the way in. There we are. As we continue to rotate, keeping that air on to the wind. If you can count it out, set that rotation. Hold on those next. There you go. Keeping that nose on up, holding this pitch right here. And coming off. Keeping that hand on the throttle. You always want to keep that hand on the throttle. Push the nose down just a little bit here. You don't want to push too much, or else we're going to essentially fart. The nose right on here. I'm going to use a little bit of trim here to help us out. It's going to help alleviate how much pressure we need to have on the yoke. We're just kind of flying out. We're flying an object off the nose of the airplane. You see how much ground is out about the nose right yes. now? We don't want that much ground. Let's pull that nose, let's pull that nose right back just a little bit. Not that much, then a little less. We want to roll the wings off. Do you have the back to left? Bring the wings low with your eyes, just like that. Very good. All right. Now we're searching for the feet. We're going to make a right turn. So how do we make a right turn? Well, we roll it around. There we go. We roll into a turn. We always make sure we clear before we roll. So we're looking to the right. We're clear. So I'm rolling throttle here, this is our north west heading. Right about here, zoom. We're now climb. The nose speed's kind of just, just kind of going down a little bit, so you push that nose forward a little bit. You're trying to slow down, you push that nose forward. We don't want to get too small that time. Gotcha. And the reason is we might have to sound small, okay? Gotcha. So we're going to keep this pitch attitude. Maybe push back just a little bit. A good pitch attitude for a climb, if I might show you. Push a little bit. You're showing the flight controls, I'm going to try to show you. A good pitch attitude is right about here. And you can just barely really see enough, enough ground over the nose. That means we're calling it. And then you feel the wind kind of push you back and forth like that, don't let it do that. Whenever it pushes you to the left, control back to the right. If it pushes you to the right, control back to the left. Keep that horizon just at or above that nose. Okay, so we're through a thousand feet when we do our after takeoff checklist. That takeoff air speed is the X and Y at 73 knots currently. And the final right now is at 1873. That's our left. Throttle is in full. And the mixture is rich for over 3,000 feet. So one thing I know is kind of uh, hard to think about right now, but just as much as you keep your foot in the gas in the car when you drive that punch, you're going to go to the right. Yeah, very good job. Positive control of the airplane. Just as much as you keep your gas, your foot in the gas in the car, you need to keep your hand on the throttle. Okay. So we're coming at 3,500. Uh -huh. So I should bring your right hand. Put your right hand on the drive. So we're trying to see if we can change the crew. So we can change the crew. So we can change the crew. The next 10 minutes we talked about how to control the plane, the relation between power and leveling it, the best way to turn when you use the rudder or ailerons or yaw. Even though I have some experience with uh, being on the yoke with my brother as a passenger, this was a very educating experience. Ryan was a very good instructor and pilot and I had a great time. Next, we contacted the tower for landing instructions. Alright, we're at altitude now, about 1,800 
100, 1,000 meter and 41 feet. Did we clear to land runway 26? Once you get on the ballon, I'm going to run through what is called a before landing checklist. They do it a lot. This is, this is what I'm saying. Runway 26 is actually this way. I'm turning onto the downwind because we follow the opposite direction of the runway initially to get ourselves set up for the bottom wind. Go ahead and turn on my downwind. Here we are. I hope you enjoyed the flight, please give us thumbs up if you did, comment the video, subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to receive notifications about our new videos.